how are you going? My name is Chelsea and I'm here with a book review, which I don't do too often. I feel like I need to, oh, what are these? I feel like I need to do some more book reviews. I read so many books, but I don't know. I feel like people really like book recommendations, like trope recommendations. But today I'm going to be giving you a book review. So on my trip to Greece, which you're probably sick of me talking about, but it's the only thing that like I'm obsessed with in my life at the moment and my tan is fading. I'm so sad. Like once the, once the holiday tan fades, it's over, babe. It is over. But while I was away, I read Twisted Love and this is by Anna Huang and everyone be, has been raving about this so much so that this is now this and the next two books in the series are in Kmart, which I feel like is a sign that you've made it. If your book is in Kmart, it means it's so popular that they have mass produced it and it's in Kmart and now I can buy it for cheap. Sorry about that. <laughs> this book is Twisted Love and there's also two other books in the series called Twisted Games, Twisted Hate, and I believe there's another one that's just come out. Not sure what it's called. It's not on the back of the book, sorry. But everyone raves about this book, especially on like book talk and bookstagram. So many people I follow love this book. So I thought, what could go wrong? I'll give it a read. Unfortunately, this book wasn't for me. I know. I feel like I have a very particular reading style. And if it doesn't fit it, if it doesn't fit the style I like, I don't enjoy it, which I know it's bad. But I feel like everyone has their particular style of reading. Like, I just bought Love on the Brain by Ellie Hazelwood. I haven't read this yet, but she's also wrote, wrote The Love Hypothesis. I feel like people that like this writing style don't like this. And people that like this don't like this. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's still romance, but it's just written different. Like, Twisted Love and Brutal Birthright series, I feel like the writing style is very similar. I don't like the Brutal Birthright brutal birthright series people that like that book like this book i don't like these books you know what i'm saying like i don't know if i'm talking to my mojo jumbo but just not the writing style for me so i think other people that like brutal birthright series will enjoy this series if that's kind of what i'm saying but i already kind of started my review without telling you what the book is about so let's just like dive back into that so this is about a man named alex volko and he's like the devil. He's young. He's like very this is set in college, and he has a dark past. So he's very grumpy, moody, and like brooding. He doesn't like people, social settings. He's very intellectual. So he's like kind of better than everyone else. Well, he thinks he is. Meanwhile, his best friend is like a party guy. The life of the party always is like down for a chat, loves girls, like always has girls all over him, that kind of vibe. So their relationship is very yin and yang. So his best friend goes off for studies, I believe. So he goes away and his sister is left behind and he asks his best friend if he can look after and keep an eye out for his sister while he's gone. Her name is Eva, Eva Chen, and she's free-spirited, just like, is very happy bubbly person always looking for new opportunities just like a really nice bubbly girl and her and alex hate each other they do not get on and she just thinks he's the devil i love brother's best friends so i thought i was gonna really love this book like brother's best friends just there's something about it and forced proximity as well because he's gonna look after her enemies to lovers like it's got everything i love but what i didn't enjoy about this book was Alex and Ava. I didn't feel a connection between the main characters. They were kind of like thrown together and it didn't really build. Like you didn't get a lot of building. Like they just suddenly were like into each other, but like not into each other. And you're like, could we not have had some like moments where they're like thinking about it? Like, oh my, sh oh my God, I'm in love with my brother's best friend or my best friend's sister. Like they were just like suddenly all in. And I hated that. Like I need it to grow. It doesn't have to be a slow burn, but there has to be some element, some burn, you know what I mean? I also don't think anything was particularly memorable. Like, I think I read this book in like four hours, just like smashed it out on the plane and like nothing really happened. I'm just like being straight savage right now. So I just didn't feel the plot was very strong as well. So I didn't feel the connection between the MCs and then the plot wasn't strong. So there wasn't too much going on. Also, everyone says the spice is like top tier. Spice who? Spice where? Like, 
I think I gave this a one out of three on the spice scale. I didn't really feel a connection between them, so the spice was a bit cringe. I gave this book a three out of five. So like, it's a good book for someone, just not for me. That is my slightly savage book review. I'm sorry, Anna Huang, but I mean, I was like thinking about it and you know, beauty influencers say negative things about products they don't like. I feel like bookstagrammers were just so sweet and we're like, don't want to be mean. We're like, oh, it's a great book, but it wasn't for me. We can be a little honest with our book reviews. So it was a good book, but not for me. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this book review. Hopefully I will come back soon. Let me know if you want a book review on Love on the Brain. I'm going to read this next. So I'm really excited for that. But Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good book lined up and I'll see you very soon. Bye guys.